Hi, let's see how to fix eFamily Cloud account not linking to Amazon Alexa skill. eFamily Cloud is a popular smart home platform that allows users to control their smart devices through voice commands using Amazon Alexa. However, some users may encounter an issue while their eFamily Cloud account is not linking to the Amazon Alexa skill preventing them from controlling their devices through voice commands. This can be frustrating for users who rely on the convenience of voice commands to control their smart home devices. But fret not, you're with solutions. So without wasting your time, let's see how to fix eFamily Cloud account not linking to Amazon Alexa skill. Solution 1. Check if your eFamily Cloud account is active. The first thing you should check is if your eFamily Cloud account is active. Make sure that your account is active and that you are able to log into your account through the eFamily Cloud app or website. Simply open the eFamily Cloud app or go to the eFamily Cloud website. Try logging in to your account using your username and password. If you are able to log in successfully, then your account is active. Solution 2. Check if your Amazon Alexa device is connected to the internet. Make sure that your Amazon Alexa device is connected to the internet and that it has a stable connection. You can check the internet connection by asking Alexa to perform a task that requires an internet connection, such as playing a song or checking the weather. Solution 3. Relink your eFamily Cloud account to the Amazon Alexa skill. If your eFamily Cloud account is active and your Amazon Alexa device is connected to the internet, try relinking your eFamily Cloud account to the Amazon Alexa skill. Here's how to simply do it. Open the Amazon Alexa app and go to Skills and Games. After that, search for the eFamily Cloud skill and select it. Then click on Disable skill and then Enable skill to relink your account. After relinking your account, try controlling your smart home devices through voice commands and see if the issue persists or not. Solution 4. Make sure that you are the account owner. Make sure that you are the account owner and that you have the necessary permissions to link your eFamily Cloud account to the Amazon's Alexa skill. When Alexa asks for your permission to link a skill, say I approve to confirm that you are the account owner. Solution 5. Update your eFamily Cloud app. If you are using an outdated version of the eFamily Cloud app, you may encounter issues when linking your account to the Amazon Alexa skill. Check if there is any update available for the app and download it. This can help fix any bugs or issues that may be causing the problem. Simply open the app store on your smartphone or tablet, then search for the eFamily Cloud app if an update is available, click on update to download and install it. Solution 6. Check if your devices are compatible. Make sure that your smart home devices are compatible with both eFamily Cloud and Amazon Alexa. Some devices may not be compatible with the eFamily Cloud platform or may require additional setup steps before they can be controlled through voice commands. Simply go to the eFamily Cloud website or app, look for the list of compatible devices, check if your devices are on the list. If not, then you may need to purchase compatible devices or contact eFamily Cloud support for further assistance. Solution 7. Restart your Amazon Alexa device. If none of the above solutions worked for you, then try resetting your Amazon Alexa device. This will remove any corrupted files that may be causing the issue. Here's how to reset your Amazon Alexa device. Simply unplug your Amazon Alexa device from the power source, then wait for a few minutes. After that, plug the device back in and wait for it to restart. After restarting your device, try linking your eFamily Cloud account to the Amazon Alexa skill again and see if the issue persists. Solution 8. Contact eFamily Cloud Support If you have tried all of the above solution and still the issue persists, 
then you can try contacting the eFamily Cloud support for further assistance. They may be able to provide you with more specific solutions to help fix the issue. Simply go to the eFamily Cloud website or app, look for the support section, then contact eFamily Cloud support for further assistance.